Well, Treasury and the National Assembly have been urged to get a compromise on the intended repeal of laws capping interest rates. Now, this follows signals from MPs that they will reject any move to do away with the law. Faisal Ahmed has more. Come September this year and the law capping interest rates would be in existence for three years. A law which was put in place to ensure banks do not exploit borrowers by charging excessive interest rates. But the law is seen to have had the opposite reaction of what it was intended to do, forcing the Treasury to call for its repeal during the budget reading last week, something that MPs vow to resist should it find its way to Parliament. Having talked to several members of Parliament and having heard them talk, I think this will be rejected with the same force that the first one was uh, uh, was rejected. However, analysts insist that both legislators and banks need to drop their hard stance and reach a middle ground, which is acceptable to both parties. What happens is that you can't go an economy like Kenya, where we are a middle-income economy, uh, without the SMEs and the MSMEs having access to credit. So it has had a very counterproductive effect on the economy, and I think it's a good idea to remove it. According to Nyamu, since the introduction of the interest rate capping laws, the economy, especially small businesses, have suffered a great deal. When it was put in place in 2016, uh, there was very wide debate as to whether it was it was going to be a good regime to have in place. And uh, the view we have is that uh, it, it was actually uh, not a good uh, not a good way to go. Uh, and uh, experience has borne has borne that out over the last almost three years. It will be three years this September. According to statistics from Anderson Young, only three percent of all loans issued by banks since the low capping interest rates came to effect were directed towards small businesses, with banks' biggest customers being the government. Who is not getting loans? The small medium enterprises and, and the high risk borrowers as, a, as a, the commercial banks are calling it, have not been able to access credit, but not because of, of market forces. They have been declined credit basically because of the risk parameters. So. The IMF, which has so long opposed the rate capping law, says for Kenya to avoid the adverse effects of capping rates, it should increase its ceiling high enough to facilitate lending to high-risk borrowers. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.